tidings to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. O Mary, for grace the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and, and dwelt, dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Introi Bonatari Dei, et Dei Filipita Juventutum Eum. Iuricam et Dei in causa mem de gente non santa, ma nomine nene quando lo sorrone. Que tu est eus foti tu lume, quarde tu listit quare tristis in cielo, tu mi fligi me inimicus. Ebe te lucem tu mi veritatem tu, mirce me te duxerunt, te duxerunt in montum santum tua, medita benacala tua. Et introi Bonatari Dei, Dei Filipita Juventutum Eum. Confitable deep in cheat, and Deus, Deus meus, quite faces anima mea, quale cum tuo best me. Spera in Deo, quale me tocco fitebo iri, salutari vultus me, et Deus meus. Gloria, Patria, Filio, et Spiritui Santo, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum, amen. In troi bonatari Dei, et de inquilitifica juventutum meum. Auditorium nostrum in nomine Domini, qui feci celum et terra. Confitio de omnipotenti, viate Maria, sede vigili, viate Michelia Candri, o viate Ivani Battisti, Santi Sposti, Spetri, Ut Paolo, viate Ivani Maria, viate Ivani, 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 Orrare per me, Domnum Deo nostro. Miseria a tutti, un regno potente, e se ti dissi spaccati, tu hai fatto il cante e il vita in terra. Amen. Confitio Deo, Omni potente, Beate Maria sempre Vergini, Beato Michaelio Arcangelo, Beato Ioanni Battista, Santis Apostoli Spettro e Paolo, Omnibus Santis e Tidi Pate, Qui è per Calvini, mi scoccia tazione, verbo ed opere, Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Ideo preco beatam, Mariam sempre virgine, beatam Michaelam Archangelum, beatam Ioannum Baptistam, Sanctus Apostolos Petru et Paulum, Omnes Sanctus et Hei Pate, Orare pro me, ad Dominum Deum Nostrum. Miseria tu vesti in ipotens Deus, in demisis peccatis vestis, peduc ad vos ad vitam eternam, Amen. In dulgentia, ma solucione, ma tramissione, in peccatorum nostrorum, tribu ad nomis, ad nipotenza, misericus dominus. Amen. Deus super mercis vivificabis nos, e plebs tu in et arbitur in te, ostende nomis domine, misericordiam tuam, e salutare tua da nobis. Domine exauri ratione mea, e clamo me sente veniat. Dominus obiscum, e cum spirito tuo, ordem. Medio Ecclesia Perduitos Eius, et in plebit Eum Dominus Spiritus Sapientia et Intellectus, stolan gloria intuit Eum, Alleluia, Alleluia. Bonum est confitieri Domino, et salerne nomimi Tuo Altissime. Gloria, Patria, Filio, et Spiritui Santo, sicud erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum, Amen. In Medio Ecclesia Perduitos Eius, 
et in plebe deum Dominus Spiritus Apiense et Intellectus. Stolam glori in duiteum. Alleluia, alleluia. Iria elai sole. Iria elai sole. Iria elai sole. Christa elai sole. Christa elai sole. Christa elai sole. Iria elai sole. Iria elai sole. Iria elai Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax hominibus bone voluntatis, plantamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te. Gracias agimus de di propte magnum gloriam tuam. Domine Deus, rex celestis, Deus Pater omnipotens, Domine Fili unigenite, Jesu Christe, Domine Deus, Agnus Dei, Filius Patris, qui tolis peccato mundi, miserere nobis, qui tolis peccato mundi, suscipe depreciazione nostra, qui sedes ed exeram Patris, miserere nobis, quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu in gloria Dei Patris, Amen. Ex ovobis, et cum spirito tuo, parlemus. Deus, qui populo tuo eterne salutis beatum, Gregorium ministrum tribuisti, presta quesmus, ut quem doctorem vitae habuimus interis, intercessiorem habere meriamur in ceilis. Per Dominum nostrum, Iaesum Christum Filium Tum, qui tecum vivita regna ad un'unitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Ordemus. Omnipotens e bitene Deus, pac nostibi sempre devotam, gregrere volentatem, et me staci tue sinceru corde se vire. Vange de quaesmus antipotens Deus, ut qui odierne die unigenitum tum redumtorum nostrum a celos ascendisse credimus, ipse quoque mente in celestibus habitemus. Per eundum Dominum nostrum, Iesu Christum Filium tum, qui tecum vivita regna ad unenitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lex libri sapientiae. Justus corsum trate ad vigilandum, di luculo ad dominum, qui fecit ilum, et conspectu altissimi deprecabitur. E perdet ossum in orazione, et pro delixis suis deprecabitur. Si enem dominus magnus voluerit, spiritu intelligentiae replevit ilum, et ipse tamquam impres mite de loquia sapientiae sue et un razione confite vitur domino. Et ipsi derigit consilium eus et disciplinam, et in absconditi suis consillabitur. Ipse palam facie et disciplinam doctrine sue, et in lege testimenti domini gloriabitur. Calauda punt multi sapientiam eus, et usque in seculum non delibitur. Non recedet memoria eus, et nomen eus requirietur, et generazione in generazione. Sapientiam eus enerabunt gentes, et laudem eus annunciabit Ecclesia. Deo gratias. Alleluia, alleluia. Amavit eum Dominus, et donavit eum, stolam glori induit eum. Alleluia. Justus geminabit sicut lilium, et florebit in eternum ante Dominum. Alleluia. Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo, sequentia Sancti Evangelii, secundum Matteum, gloria tibi Domine. In illo tempore, dixit Iesus discipuli suis, vos essis saltere, vos si sal evangueerit in cosa lietur? Ad nihilum valet altra, nisi ut mitatur foras, 
et co conjectur ab hominibus. Vos estis lux mundi, non potes civitas abscondi supra montem posita, ne quae accendu lucenam, et ponunt eum submodio, sed super candelabrum, ut luceat omnibus qui in domus sunt. Sic luceat lux vesta coram hominibus, ut videant opera vesta bona, e glorificet patrem vestum qui in celis es. Non lite putare, quoniam veni salvere legem, aut profetas, non veni salvere, sed ad implere. Amen, qui vedigo vobis, donne transeat celum et terra, iota unum, aut unus apex non preterivita lege, donne omnia fiant. Qui ergo solverit unum de mandatis isis minimis, et ocuerit sic homines, minimus vocabitor in legno celorum. Qui autem fecerit et ocuerit, ec maulus vocabitor in regno celorum. Laus tibi Christi. The epistle today is taken from the Book of Wisdom. With dedicated heart, the faithful man keeps early vigil at the Lord's gates to win audience for his plea from the Most High. His lips will be eloquent in prayer as he entreats pardon for his sins. At the Lord's sovereign pleasure, he will be filled with a spirit of discernment, so that he pours out showers of wise utterances, giving thanks to the Lord in his prayer. His plans and his thoughts guided from above, he will have skill in the divine mysteries, will make known to all the tradition of teaching he has received, and take pride in that law which is the Lord's covenant with man. This wisdom of his, extolled on every side, will never fall into oblivion. The memory of him, the renown of him, will be held in honour from age to age. His wise words will become a legend among the nations. Wherever men assemble, his praise will be told. And the Gospel today is a continuation of that according to St Matthew. At this time Jesus said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth. If the salt loses its taste, what is there left to give taste to it? There is no more to be done with it, but throw it out of doors for men to tread underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city cannot be hidden if it is built on a mountain top. A lamp is not lighted to be put away under a bushel measure. It is put on the lampstand to give light to all the people of the house. And your light must shine so brightly before men that they can see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I have come to set aside the law and the prophets. I have not come to set them aside, but to bring them to perfection. Believe me, heaven and earth must disappear sooner than that one jot, one flourish disappear from the law. It must all be accomplished. Whoever then sets aside one of these commandments, though it were the least, and teaches men to do the like, will be of least account in the kingdom of heaven. But the man who keeps them and teaches others to keep them will be accounted in the kingdom of heaven as the greatest. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi, beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast Mass on this, the Feast of St. Gregory of Nazianzus, great doctor of the Church, uh, venerated by both lungs, as St. John Paul II would say, of the Church, both East and West. And also, of course, we commemorate today the Octave of the Ascension. There is a great deal of biographical information about St. Gregory of Nazianzus available online as well as in libraries. So forgive uh, me today if I don't dwell uh, or if I don't give you um, a uh, biography of him, except to say uh, that he died in the year 390 uh, AD as Patriarch of Constantinople and is uh, one of the most renowned uh, theologians and doctors of the church. Indeed, he's one of only three uh, named the theologian, St. Gregory the Theologian. And he was a great uh, co-worker of St. Eusebius, uh, of Caesarea, and of St. Basil the Great as well, the Cappadocian Fathers, as they're referred to in patristics. 
He was a great defender of the faith at that time against uh, the growing apostasy uh, that was enveloping the church, uh, partly because of Julian, the apostate, uh, as emperor, though he and uh, um, Gregory were contemporaries uh, of each other at Athens studying rhetoric. Uh, Julian, uh, as I say, became emperor and um, apostatized from the faith. And at the same time, uh, Arianism uh, was uh, growing uh, in uh, adherence. Uh, Arianism, uh, a complicated uh, heresy, but um, not unlike uh, much uh, of what uh, many today and many Christians today uh, believe uh, is bordering on Arianism. Arianism was essentially uh, a denial of uh, the two uh, natures uh, of Christ in one being. Indeed, uh, when we look uh, at Arianism, Gnosticism, Manichaeism, etc., they all essentially uh, are denying in some way or lessening in some way uh, uh, or, or suggesting an imbalance of uh, the two natures in Christ. Uh, we owe uh, St. Gregory, uh, of course, uh, the uh, readherence to the uh, creed of the Council of Nicaea uh, by uh, the Constantinopolitan uh, Patriarchate, um, which itself had fallen foul of this Arianism. In our own time, my brothers and sisters, as I say, there are some Christians who are still confused uh, about uh, the two natures of Christ. When I say the two natures of Christ, of course, I'm talking about his divinity and about his uh, humanity. Many people struggle to understand uh, how he can be both divine and human at the same time. And yet, if we uh, understand fully the nature, uh, the incarnational nature of our faith, uh, then actually we see in him the reconciliation of God uh, with creation, which of course is uh, ultimately accomplished uh, by virtue of his passion and his death upon the cross and his resurrection. Uh, that God in Christ is reconciled with mankind. So he is fully divine and fully human. And we, of course, are human seeking to be divine. And that is the nature and purpose of the Christian life. And how is that made possible? Well, as I say today, we are in the octave of the Ascension. We reflected on Ascension Day uh, about uh, the wonderment uh, of and the miraculous nature uh, of the legacy that our Lord left us after his Ascension. We reflected on our shared responsibility in the Great Commission uh, to preach uh, the gospel to all nations, to bring others to salvation and to baptism. We reflected on the later, of course, an impending festival of Pentecost, on the gift of the Holy Ghost to the Church, uh, to enable uh, miracles still to occur. Remember, we were saying that sacraments are themselves miracles, divine intervention, hallowing and changing and transforming uh, ordinary material things. But all this is made possible because of what the Ascension itself uh, represents. You perhaps are familiar uh, with the Day of Atonement of the old Jewish uh, calendar and the old Jewish festival where once a year the uh, High Priest would enter into the Holy of Holies to burn incense uh, to atone uh, for the sins of the people. The ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ is, as it were, the culmination of that atonement begun by him upon the cross. And the letter of St Paul to the Hebrews uh, explains uh, this notion that Christ, by his ascension, then enters into the Holy of Holies. Our great high priest who has passed into the heavens, as Hebrew says. Our Lord himself at his ascension, uh, it is the culmination 
of his high priesthood, he who had offered himself both priest and victim uh, for our uh, for the atonement of our sins, is himself then taken into the holy of holies, taken up into the clouds, taken up into the nearer presence of God, and there offering himself a fragrant incense, a fragrant odour of sacrifice, of prayer and praise and perpetual and eternal worship to God the Father in heaven. By his ascension, by his entering into the Holy of Holies, it is then made possible, us ourselves, to experience and to glimpse something of that eternal nature of that worship in heaven. So it is that by his gift of the Holy, of the Holy Ghost upon the Church and the uh, grace thereby to receive the sacraments, to effect the sacraments, so as we ourselves in the Mass uh, recite the angelic hymn, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. We are at that point entering into ourselves, as it were, mystically, supernaturally, the eternal worship of the holiest of holies in heaven. And it is Christ himself, in the person of the priest, Christ himself, who again offers that same sacrifice of Calvary. So we are witnessing in the liturgy, we are being transported as it were, as far as is physically and materially possible, we are being transported to see that eternal worship in the holiest of holies of our great high priest, of Christ himself. And it is enacted, as it were, in the liturgy by the by the priests and the sacred ministers, but it is Christ himself. And it is Christ himself by virtue of the miracle of ordination, of the gift of the Holy Ghost upon the Church that has enabled the power and efficacy of the New Covenant to have uh, been transmitted and perpetuated throughout the last 2,000 years. Remembering that miracles are not just about healings and cures and exorcisms, they are also about divine interaction with our material world and in the sacred species of the Holy Mass and the Eucharistic species of bread and wine we see we believe and we see how Christ's body and blood that same sacrifice of himself upon Calvary is represented to us and we see both priest and victim offering himself in the Holy of Holies for the atonement of us for the atonement of humanity. Now the example of the teaching, the importance of the teaching, the example of the lives of the saints, and like St. Gregory of Nazianzus, is that they each in their turn have themselves contributed and perpetuated this continuing outpouring of the gift of the Holy Ghost upon the Church, so that we ourselves, so many hundreds of years later, have received that same insight, that same inspiration, that same wisdom and understanding, that same faith that they themselves have received and passed on, and that we ourselves are called to receive and pass on. Which is why, my brothers and sisters, it's so important for us, and so important in the contemporary situation, for many more of us to reread the writings of the early fathers of the church, to ourselves, familiarize ourselves with their patristic teaching, <coughs> which we would find the answers to so many questions that vex Christians in the contemporary context today. These were problems long thought about and long discussed before. And the trouble is, uh, uh, significantly I think, <coughs> in the past uh, century or so, Catechesis in the church, teaching in the church, proper instruction uh, has waned and drifted. And we don't anymore uh, uh, learn about our faith. Indeed, if anything, in generally seem, people seem to uh, ask questions all the time or pose questions all the time uh, rather than actually receive 
uh, information or understanding. And this is perhaps the great difference in the Orthodox and Catholic tradition, that uh, tradition is so important to us about passing on that which we have received. There is, as I've said before, nothing new under the sun. <coughs> there can be no new dogma, there can be no new teachings, there can only be a greater understanding. And over the centuries, through the wisdom of saints like St. Gregory's, like St. Basil, like St. Gregory the Great, we have uh, had imparted to us, by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, such insight and such wisdom and such understanding in order to enable us really to spend more time in prayer and praise than vexing over difficult questions that have already been answered by greater minds than us previously. And this is often, I find, the frustration uh, with contemporary uh, theology that um, they're asking much the same questions, just rephrased, uh, that have already been dealt with uh, centuries ago. And there's a great problem in our own age of um, laxity and diligence and, and, and discipline in academia such that um, uh, unlike when I studied divinity uh, people no longer uh, have to learn Hebrew or Greek. Well if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you haven't studied Hebrew or Greek how can you read uh, the original sources of the New Testament or the Old Testament? And so many times these days you hear ridiculous comments by people saying oh I don't bother with the Old Testament I don't know anything. I don't need to know anything about the Old Testament and as we've said before if you don't know the Old Testament you can't understand the New Testament and in today's gospel what does our Lord say he says I have not I have come to fulfill the law and the prophets well what law and the prophets are he talk is he talking about he's referring to the Old Testament if you don't know what the law and the, and the prophets said of the Old Testament how are you going to know who he is how are we going to understand what he means by, I am the fulfilment? Let us then, my brothers and sisters, both continue to enjoy and avail ourselves of the ability to see the efficacy of God's grace by the power of the Holy Spirit and enter into the true worship of heaven as often as we are able at Mass to recognise and see in the sacraments the perpetuation of the presence of the Holy Ghost in the Church, to see and recognize in the sacraments and miracles that God still uh, works before our eyes. But also, too, let us seek to ourselves, perhaps spend some time in research and study, and look at the writings of St. Gregory of Nazianzus and other great doctors of the Church, and imbue ourselves with their knowledge and their insight and their understanding. I have to say, some of them are not always easy to read, but there are these days a number of good commentaries uh, written by others who have you know, sorted out the uh, language and the rhetoric and made it easier for contemporary uh, minds to understand. Or, of course, uh, go and study Greek and then read it all in the original for yourselves. But either way, my brothers and sisters, let us not be lazy but let us avail ourselves of what has gone before so that in our own time when people offer these questions we have the answers we have tried and tested answers for each and every one of us is called to be an apologist for the Christian faith that is part and parcel of being charged with the commission to spread the gospel it is not enough to just tell people uh, that Jesus was the Son of God and that he died and that he rose again because they will ask questions about that and you need to have the answers to give them so let us my brothers and sisters as I say uh, imbue ourselves with the great treasury of knowledge and information that already exists in the church to answer all those questions uh, that are not new so that we ourselves may be more powerful uh, exegetes of the gospel, more powerful apologists for the faith. 
and ourselves thereby play a greater part in drawing others and bringing them to the knowledge of salvation. Remember we reflected last week how uh, our evangelism is not just about the way we live. It's also about prayer. We must pray for the conversion of others. But we ourselves too must prepare ourselves to, as evangelists and as apologists so that we have the answers to the questions that many people have. And as always, seek and follow the Lord's advice as example to us by the enacted for us by the Apostles in the Acts of the Apostles to ask for the inspiration, to ask for the right words to speak, that we may in all our doings glorify our Father who is in heaven. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. <coughs> Credo in unum Deum, Patrem Omnipotentem, Factorum Cere et Terre, Visibilium Omnium et Invisibilium, et in unum Dominum Jesum Christum Filium Deum Unigenitum, et ex Patri Nantum ante Omnia Secula, Deum de Deu, Lumen de Lumine, Dem Verum de Deu Verum, Genitum no Factum Consustantialem Patri, Ecum Omnia Factus Sum. Vi prote nos homines e prote nostrum salutem, de Scenite Celis, et de Calatus est di Spiritus Sancto ex Maria Virgine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus et siam pronobis supponsio pelatu passus e supultus est, et resurrexit e si de secundus scripturas, et descendit in celum sedele dextram patris, et itero venturis et cum gloria ubicari vivos et motivos, cuius reni non erit finis. Et in spiritum sanctum dominum et vivificantem, qui ex patri procedi, qui cum patri et filius simula dorator cum glorificatur cui lucultus est per profetas, et unam sanctam catholicam et apostolicam ecclesiam, confiti unum baptismo in missione peccatorum, et expecto resurrectione mortuorum, et vita venturi seculi. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spiritu tuo. Ordemus. Justus of Pablo Flore, di Zico Cetrus, qui in Libano est multiplicabitur. Alleluia.
Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo, Susum Corda, habemus ad Domino, gracias ad Amus Domino Deo Nostro, dignum et justum est. Bene, dignum justum et equam et salutari nos tibi sempre dubi per gracias agis et Domine Sancti Pater onipotens et tene Deus, per Christum Domino Nostrum, qui post resurrezione in sua momnibus discipuli suis manifestus a parli, et ipsis eccellentibus est arrivatus in celum, ut nos divinitatis sui trivio erit e se participes. Et idee ocum angelis et arcangelis contronis et dominationibus, con quae omni militia celestis exegitus, in un gloria et uecanimus in ai fine dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis un celi a terra, gloria tua, osana in excelsis. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, osana in excelsis.
公開されたとおり。Secula seculorum. Amen. Oremus precepti salutaribus maliti divines et utsiane formati. Oderus dice. Pater noster e cui es in cieli, sanctificetum nomum tuum, ad veni ad regnum tuum, fit voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Adem nostrum quadriam de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut de nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris. Ne nos inducas in tentazione. Sed libera nos amare. Dei, ecce quitolet peccatum mundi. 
Satan, dominate nuns and demons, whose interests protect him now. Set tantum dic verbo, et senabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus, ut interes subtectum mea. Set tantum dic verbo, et senabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus, ut interes subtectum mea. Set tantum dic verbo, et senabitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online, unable therefore to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion, the words for which we'll find below your viewing screen. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen.
fidelis efus et prudens, quem constitui dominus supa familiam suam, ut et ilis in tempore critici mensuram. Alleluia. Dominus obiscum et cum spirito tuo. Ordemus. Ut nobis domine tuo sacrificia den salutem, beatus Gregorius pontifice, pontifex tuus et doctori Gregius presmus precatore ceda. Per dominum nostrum Iesu Christum filio tuo, qui te conclivita regna ad unelettati spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum, Amen. Ordemus. Presta nobis quesmus in ipotens e misericors Deus, ut quae visibilibus mysteries humenda percepibus, in visibili consequamur effectu. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum filio tuum, qui tecum vivita regna ad unenitati spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, ita e missa est, Deo gratias. Se nomen Domini benedictum, et sov nunc et usque in secula, autotorium nostrum, in nomine Domini, qui fecit celem et terra. Benedicat vos, omnipotens Deus. Pate, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo, initium Sancti Evangelii secundum Iovannem. Gloria a Tibi Domini. In principio eret verbum, et verbum eret acudeum, et Deus eret verbum. Noi hoc erat in principio acudeum, omnia per ipsum factus sunt, e sin ipso factum es nihil, co factum est. In ipso vita erat, vita erat lux hominum, et lux in tenebres luce, et tenebre hem non comprehendevum. Fuit homo et missus et eucum nomen eratio anges, et venit in testimonium, o testimonium viverit un lumen et omnes credum et regilum. Non erit ille lux, et o testimonium viverit un lumen. Erat lux vera, quae luminat omnem hominem brientem in hocundum. In mundo erat, in mundo scripsum factus est, in mundo sem non cognovi. In propri venit et sum non incepherum. Quod quod aut em reciperunt em dedres potestat in filios de fieri his, qui crent in nomine eus, qui non is sanguinibus, necos vantati canis, necos vantati viris, et ex veronati sum. Et verbum carvum factum eis, et habitavit in nobis, et virimus gloria menus, gloria in quasi una genetia patria, planum gratia et veritatis. Deo gratia.